Hey, this is Tom from Inspiration Metalworks, and in this video, we're gonna work on making some handles, right? Nice and simple uh, little part here on the slant bed lathe. Well, it's been a week since I put out my last video, uh, a little over a week, and the last video said that I was gonna be releasing two videos since that in that time frame and uh, guess what uh, I got uh, about 15 seconds worth of video <laughs> for that um, that part that I did the project um, and I'll put a picture up here I I still will do a, a video on this one I'm gonna make another one just to have uh, for my portfolio here but frankly it needed to get out the door and so I, I pushed it out the door rather than shoot a video I do have one for the CAD part of it and you know that part's um, you know, ready to go. Um, I just wanted to make sure that I, I released these two videos together. So uh, in the meantime, though, uh, as I was getting ready to do that, I got an order in uh, for uh, the the crank handles for the uh, the ProLock wrap system. Um, my, my friend Marty's uh, business. He's been kind enough to send some of that uh, some of that work my way. Now that I've got the tooling for it, and um, so. What I'm going to put up today, this video, is the very first one that I actually made. Right Now, I have since refined the process quite a bit and uh, got the cycle times way down. And, uh, but I wanted to make sure that I could make the, 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 uh, the handle first because um, there's actually three parts to this thing, and I've talked about this in the past, but uh, the handles were the first step since I had the lathe up and running and ready to go. Um, I did the design part of it in Fusion. I probably pretty darn close to could have done all this in conversational uh, in Pathpilot uh, because it's not a whole lot, right? So you've got uh, basically it's it's make sure that you've got a good face here. We're drilling it uh, a letter F drill, right? Then we tap it uh, at five sixteenths. We put this front chamfer on, and here's where I ended up having to to do some work uh, where I couldn't figure out how to do this in in Pathpilot. There's a rear chamfer as well, right? Uh, that rear, the chamfering wouldn't let me do that. And then when I tried to do that with the parting tool, it told me that my orientation in the um, in the tool changer was wrong. So maybe I've got something set up in the lathe wrong. So if you've got some uh, insight here, please let me know. Um, and then the last thing to do on all these is, I hate those little nubs, right? Uh, I gotta figure out a way when I'm when I'm coming in to part it. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna grind a custom parting tool so that it it's such an angle that it, it has to part this this end off first. I, I don't know yet. I think I heard that called a right hand parting tool or something along those lines. Um, but thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I I want to put up a quick little note for my my patrons. I could, uh, probably on that side, but I just want to say thanks again for for all that. And um, with, without any further ado, let's just go ahead and get into this video.
got some uh, changes to make in the code. Here we go. Okay. You guys see that? Okay. So here's our part. So one thing that I don't like about it, you gotta. Oops, there we go. So here's a part. Really simple, right? Drill, tap, some chamfers, part it off. Right? Nothing spectacular here. I just gotta do something about that. Not a fan of that at all. All right. Thanks for watching.